And today I'm rather ambivalent to bring you my review for Trials Fusion for the PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, and most likely your ColecoVision. Trials Fusion tells the tale of a persecution lawyer's 10-year journey to prove that Michael Douglas did screw Jane Fonda during the making of the China Syndrome. And if you get that joke, you're old as fuck, people. Let's do this. We know what Trials Fusion is. Trials is the mixing of motorbikes, Mars gravity, ragdoll physics gone wrong, and too many Red Bulls laced with Meow Meow during the development time. This is a game that has you breaking cloud layers with your two-wheeled and four-wheeled vehicles, all the while trying to ascertain just what crazy fuck decided to put explosive barrels at the every finish line like they had a vendetta towards winners. Graphics start first because I love sparkly things. The game runs at 1080p and a promised 60 frames a second. It also isn't the most complex of games with up, down, left, and right basically being the only directions you can go. If it wasn't locked at a perfect 60 frames per second, you'd be pissed. Unfortunately, I was pissed because the game isn't locked at 60 frames per second despite promises to the contrary. It was more locked at whatever they could hit, nearest to 60, with some slowdown and some visible texture pop in at many times. That's not to say it doesn't look good. It does. It's just a game that's so simplistic in its overall design that you would have expected even these underpowered consoles to hit 60 frames per second all the time. Whatever, it still looks good most of the time with explosions, neon ball shrinking plunges, and nut crunching ascents. All happening lickety split for the most part. Lickety split is such a weird term. It sounds like a Russian gymnast version of Cunnilingus. Anyway, sound music and voice. Actually, the Trials games have always been known for sort of pushing the edge with sound, echo, reverb, and change-ups abound as each area you, you vibrate your little digital mannequin through sets off the sounds in a different way. It was really enjoyable. They did a great job with the sounds. Music, I love the music here, and that title music I liked a great deal. I can see it being something many don't like. Uh, some people don't like breakdancing, so maybe they're right and I'm wrong, but I liked it, and it really fit perfectly and just felt right. Voice. Yeah, so someone, a trustee of Modern Chemicals, obviously, stayed up too late snorting cocaine, and after rubbing their gums, they came up with the true embodiment of fail and decided to put a story into the fusion game that's like plot and porn. It just gets in the way of awesome sin. Why someone decided to put a story in this game will be one of the great mysteries of our time, folks. Right up there with how Keith Richards lived past Chris Farley, and why is Axe body spray sold in stores when it is soul poison? Though in the end, I did like the screams of total fear from the writer as he descended to his death or crashed headlong into some lengthy, sharpened object. Overall, I wasn't that impressed. Nice Gameplay. So this is simple. Trials is about driving as fast as you can using body leans and judicious gas. Sounds a little bit like my dad. And careful braking to get to the end of the level as fast as you can. During that time, the level will do its utmost to turn you into a greasy mark with no resemblance to your former life. Just like the Special Olympics, you gain bronze, silver, and gold skull medals to buy your way into later areas where you're promised sex and drugs. Oh, and motorbikes, of course. Now in Fusion, the, they added the ability to perform tricks to get more points. However, after pulling three or four kneeling penitent nuns or two backward swallowing sallies, I really didn't feel that the trick system was up to par. Like the story, the trick system feels just a bit tacked on, not throwaway, but it needed more time to cook. However, it is there, so you can do it, and I did. It doesn't change the game up much, and it doesn't really hurt it either. What did hurt it were the bugs. The share button crashed me uncountable times, leaving the game sitting there doing nothing and me sitting there doing nothing. Then, while sitting in the menu, the game gave me some kind of crazy double O or double four error on the PS4 I've never seen before. Unacceptable from a game that should have passed certification. Did no one check on a couple dozen systems that the share button didn't crash the fucking thing? This is next level laziness, and maybe the devs just spent their last programming months in Colorado, you know, because it's a cool place to visit now. But in the end, is it fun? Yes, the world of fusion is a bit sterile, a bit futuristic for me, and a bit clinical, but breaking up the game and having different unique challenges, as well as the overall good look to the game, and the fact that I enjoy flopping around like a dead body in the back of a Teamsters van after crashing means that I enjoyed the game almost solely on its humorous merits. Sure, it's not the prettiest at times, sure it has issues, and sure, apparently it passed certification by someone sending the testers a picture of Jenna Hayes swallowing a potato without chewing. But in the end, it's a blast to play, and as long as hell, it has added multiplayer to that, as well as vehicle upgrades, and of course, the Trials full-fledged editor, and you have a great deal of content. So what do you get with Trials Fusion for the PS4? You get a game that's all about Smash Mouth fun with some throwaway story and a questionable back end that makes you constantly nervous as you play it if it will crash on you. I always rate games on a buy, wait for a sale, rent, or never speak of it again rating scale. This is a buy. The price is right, folks. And in the end, it's the gameplay that matters the most. This has it in spades. It has some missteps, but so do most games. And it works through them by always falling back on its history. This is Carrick from Angry Center Gaming. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you disliked it, hit dislike. And follow me on Twitter so you can hear me babble. Peace out, bitches.